Well, how to be a good leader, you have to be a very good listener. You have to listen to people. You have to also listen to quite a, um, a lot of advice. You have to make sure that it is not what you tell people to do. You have to, you know, crack your brains and have quite a lot of uh, uh, what you call advice from your own uh, team. You know, it has to be a teamwork because there's no way you can make it as a person without a good team. And you must be consistent. When you try a business and you start, you might have hiccups here and there, but it does not mean that that business is not going to work. There must be challenges. In fact, what I keep saying is that life without challenges is very, very boring. So if you have challenges, you just have to know how to work out or how to work around these challenges, and you will be successful once you are consistent. What business doesn't like is for you to try something and then once you have one or two problems and now you want to change and move into another business. That doesn't work in business at all. The way that the data is, you know, uh, you need to have a lot of information at your fingertips so that it will allow you to make decisions and, uh, you know, to also take the right, you know, decisions. Uh, what uh, I was doing five years ago, if I try to do them without the uh, automation that we have today, it's just not going to happen at all. Well, the problem with the, some of our younger generation today, they just want to jump and see themselves up there, you yeah. know, overnight. Uh, it doesn't really happen. What you need to do is to be very, very focused as a person and be dedicated to whatever that you are doing. It is not really good for you to now go and try something, then after a month you just say, no, it doesn't work. You jump into uh, something else. else. I think you need to be very, very focused in what you are doing. Once you believe in what you are doing, you see, you should not take your either business or job as something that you must do, okay? You must take it as it's part of your hobby. If it's part of your hobby, then you do it better. You know, you always have to think ahead, you know, in business sometimes what is good today might not be good tomorrow. So you need to, you know, look at it. If you have the means, there's nothing really like diversification. You know, sometimes you do quite a lot of diversification, I mean diversification, and then you consolidate before you move forward. You cannot just keep expanding expanding because sometimes when you over expand, it can cause a lot of uh, crisis also. So you need at least once in a while to consolidate and, uh, you know, go on. When you look at it, you know, it is really not common for somebody to leave banking and go and start something totally new, you know, especially in an area of uh, events management. Because at the time that she left the bank, which was 10 years ago, uh, nobody thought that uh, something like events management will actually succeed. But I mean, it is good. That is what really what you call entrepreneurship and also a vision. You know, she had a vision and she uh, is able to actualize our vision. Uh, it's just like myself. I remember one time I went to uh, address a retreat of First Bank of Nigeria and I was selling First Bank of Nigeria. Uh, this is where Dangote is going to be in the next five years. I mean, you know, we are not really that big at the time that I went there to address them. And I'm sure, you know, they couldn't really believe what I was saying then. But I remember uh, at a point the MD said that, well, you know, they are really shocked at how we actually been able to make it and also actualize our vision. So I think with this thing that she has done, I personally believe it is just beginning of the journey because she has a vision and I'm sure if she continues to do it, this can turn into another mega business, you know, because like what I always say, look, um, for an entrepreneur, there are no boundaries. Not only are there no boundaries, uh, you can actually excel much more than your own expectation. And that's really what I expect of an entrepreneur to be not to just say, okay, fine, I have a vision and only achieve that your vision. You need to have a vision and a mission so that you can actually actualize it and also excel. I mean, I had somebody uh, who came to interview me one time and I told him that, yes, you know, three, four, five years ago, I never ever expected myself to be on the Forbes list. But right now, the vision that I have and also my own mission is actually to be on top of the line, not even where I am today. And that's really how, uh, you know, a visionary person should be. Hard work. I believe that, you know, we're a very focused, we're a very focused company. 
we don't really go into things that we don't understand. You know, any business that I don't uh, understand it well, I don't do it at all. And that's really why, you know, uh, why we are successful. To be an entrepreneur and also to be a visionary person, you have to actually be very, very bold. Uh, you have to be ready to take calculated risk, not just any risk. You have to take a calculated risk and you have to think big. If you think small, you will always remain small in life. The way that we operate as a company, you know, especially in Dongote, is like what I said, we have, we have a vision. That vision, we have a strategy of how we are going to achieve the vision, which we do normally over a period of five years. You know, I mean, like today, uh, we know where we are going. Even this investment that I announced of $400 million here, I didn't just sit down on my own and just say it. It is part of our strategic plan to invest in Kenya. I mean, to be serious, if you want to be the next Dangote, is that uh, you have to have a very big heart. You have to take quite a lot of risk, calculated risk. First of all, you have to make sure that you are honest. You must make sure that you don't destroy the name, you know, because your name is very important. That the most valuable asset that you have going forward. Because if you don't have a good name, even the banks, doesn't matter how big you are, they're not going to touch you True. at all. So you must make sure that you have a very, very good name. And uh, number three, you have to make sure that you say that, look, nothing is impossible. Once you say that, yes, nothing is impossible, it means that you can actually achieve that target.